Hey class and Dr. Phillips, my name is Blake Ellis. I am currently serving as uh, the Associate High School Minister at First Christian Church in Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, I've been in that position since April. Prior to that, I was a, uh, a resident in the on the student ministry team at First Christian in Johnson City. Um, yeah, I graduated this past spring from Milligan University with a degree in student ministry. Um, I am originally from Southern California. My my father is Butch Ellis, who works at at Hope. Uh, so he's the director of graduate and online admissions. Um, yeah, so I grew up in Southern California and I moved to Johnson City, Tennessee four years ago to come out to Milligan and I have uh, been here ever since pretty much um, yeah so for me I think my yeah my primary convictions about preaching um, first and foremost I think that uh, preaching must be out of the Bible and based out of the you know out, out of the Bible and and true to the Bible's um, yeah, original purpose and meaning. So it needs to be, you know, centered in the gospel as well as being, um, yeah, you know, sound and in, in interpretation. I think, um, yeah, if a, yeah, if if a sermon is not based out of um, the Bible or or is not does not have good doctrine, it is it is not um, worth giving. Um, along with that, though, I think that. Uh, pre, uh, one of my primary convictions about preaching is that it, it comes from a place of humility, um, not from a place of arrogance. I think one of the um, one of the damages that the church has done over the past several centuries is is taking the pulpit as a as a place of um, authority to the to the level of arrogance. And I think that uh, humility from the pulpit and an understanding that um, the preacher is, is a part of the congregation and who is uh, being sent out to to give to give the good word, but isn't by no means a, a perfect figure or one who, um, yeah, the one who doesn't who the, the teaching does not apply to. I think that that's huge. Another conviction I have about preaching is it needs to be practically applicable to the modern Christian's life. I think that. Um, that is one of the, my primary goals whenever I have preached and I think should be in, in good preaching is that um, it applies practically to your life. Um, I think that, that that's a huge one. Uh, and with that, I think preaching needs to be, um, needs to do some work of contextualization from the original text. So it needs to, um, yeah, it needs to contextualize the 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 truth of the text that you are you are studying or the topic that you are um, presenting to your congregation, and it needs to be contextualized to the needs of that congregation. You know, so you shouldn't you, you should take into account the the needs of your church and the um, and the struggles that your church is currently going through in your culture and having you know one ear to the culture and. Um, in order to to teach to that well and and to apply the biblical truths of your teaching to that context so yeah excited for this class um yeah thank you very much